Hi. So I'm just going to show you what happens if you lose a stitch. Knitting's great, you know, because you can do this watching television or chatting with the kids or having a cup of tea with your friends or whatever. But sometimes if you lose your concentration and a stitch falls off the needle and disappears down into the knitting, then you're going to have to retrieve it because otherwise you'll end up with a hole and not enough stitches. So the both things are a bit of a disaster. So you, you must, if you lose a stitch, you must pick it up. Basically what happens is it's just like a ladder in your stockings or a ladder, a child running up and down a ladder. The stitch goes up and down the rung of the rows. So when you lose a stitch, it comes off the needle and it just goes down like that, it just keeps on going down. So basically what you're going to have to do is get it back up the ladder again. So you can do this with a crochet hook if you have one, but this is, it's perfectly well simple to do it on the needle like this. So you catch the stitch, first of all, find the stitch and catch it and put it back on the needle. And then you take the first rung of the ladder, make sure you get the rungs in the right order, otherwise, like running up and down the ladder, you're going to be in trouble when you find you've missed a few rungs and fall off. So we start with the bottom rung and we put that over the over the needle like that and then just make the stitch and then you get the next rung going up the ladder all the time and put it over the needle like that and there you are you've made it up and you can just sort of pull it into shape like that it's not perfect and you might notice it afterwards but I wouldn't worry too much because the jump has been worn a couple of times you won't know any different but don't forget you must catch those stitches don't let them run away on you because it'll wreck your knitting thank okay. you